outside of the work environment yes I make friends at work I enjoy some people more than the others but very seldom would that interfere in a work related decision that I may have to make so in my case no I don't think being a woman makes me more softer empathetic. more empathetic more touchy feely loving okay. no not, not me but yes there are some who do, do it very well I think obviously you're very uh, focused at your career but then you're also a mother to two young children how do you balance the two are there any time management skills that you can share I don't know whether it's about time management I mean you hear and I've heard all these buzzwords as we were growing up about spending quality time with children or whatever and I'm not a very again structured planned person it's really I mean when you have time the guilt I think is always there for most working mothers yes, about the lack of time but I think now that my children are older my son's going to be 17 my daughter 13 and now we can talk about it and I do believe they get it and as I keep saying I'll do the best I can and I do believe that I'm working makes me a better saner possibly more open person than if I hadn't worked so even this I do think helps them or works for them I mean I'd asked my son once when he was very young is do you want me to stop working and he said yeah and I said do you realize the implications of it and it's like no I said you know I'll be waiting when you come from school then you'll have to sort of put your shoes away then you'll have to do your homework then you'll have to do this because I'll be nagging you all yeah. the time yeah. and then you know we can't do some fun things or when I travel you won't get the presents took him 30 seconds it's like you just continue working mom so I mean I do believe that maybe it's just the nature or whatever that one does the best circumstances change correct correct in time but if I could plan it it's like I said Indonesia yes for a long time still uh, Bali is my most favorite place there so I was just laughing and telling the kids and they said mom you always wanted a house in Bali and it's like yeah when you buy it for me that's when I live there but otherwise home is still India so it would still be going back, to, back India. to India yes I mean that's where the family is that's where a lot of friends are and it is home it's something that I'm used to and grown up in the last so many years that you have worked has there been any point which you, you've had regrets or something that you would like to change? No, I can't recall any, but that's also probably to do with the way I think, is there's no point regretting something. Correct. If, because if you're regretting it, then I do believe you always have choices and options. So if there was something I really regretted, I should have been able to change or take an option. So. A very extent. positive attitude to have. It does help because yeah. I mean, otherwise you're just otherwise living you're just in the past. Yes. Into yeah, that. yeah. But no, I can't say that I have any regrets. Any people who inspire you or have been role models for you? A lot of them, I think. And I think even today, there's always something to learn from anyone around you. So over the years, I can't attribute it to any one single person but yeah different characteristics traits or inspiration that I've got from a whole lot of people starting of course with my immediate family which is my father and his absolute will to excel my mom and her strength my sister's patience I mean now my kids to teach me things which I do believe will help me improve <laughs> in being a better person since they are the most critical of them they are the most critical but yes and they're also their own personality yeah. and like I said as my son keeps saying if you could just chill mom so it's like yeah maybe I do need to chill a bit so he's trying to get me to focus on that on the other extreme my daughter is trying to get me to be more focused and organized because she is Very like focused. that yes so I don't think she's succeeding very much but it's like okay I'll try and change so learning I think both the good things from people but sometimes and I have seen myself do this very consciously is I look at a person who may be let's say very bitter about something and the learning that I get from that is 
make sure you don't become like that. So it's the good that you pick up, but it's and sometimes also to like, what you not to pick yes, up. Yes, it's like I don't want to be like that. Yeah, and then you start being conscious of it, yeah. whether I can be or not. Of course, I think the awareness brings in a lot of change. Just to be aware. aware. Yes. So, like I said, is definitely nowhere near being a perfect or even close to being a perfect person. But as long as you're aware and I think are open to change, there's always hope. Yeah, so absolutely. That's what I hope I can continue doing. When I met you a couple of days ago, you mentioned about the social service projects that you did in Thailand. You know, on some. Is there any other social enterprises or social service projects you're involved in in Indonesia? No. I do believe that's something I would like to do and I think again it's an excuse at the moment that I don't have time but uh, I have I have sort of just help but again I don't believe that's the right thing to do is give money for something which is this kampung kids or whatever that I think is still the easy way out and I do tend to take that at the moment but it's more this giving of time giving of yourself is something I would like to do very soon. It's always the wish and that we should be able to contribute in terms of time and effort but it doesn't happen not because we are not willing or we don't have the time but because of the agency or the you know the social enterprise there is unable to accept it or utilize it. Sometimes yes but even like I said is to I know one of my friend's daughter is now working in Aceh and helping in whatever way to rebuild something like that so there is something that you Correct. could do or go out and do my son was talking about maybe going to Jogja with another friend which I think is wonderful now those are the kind of things I would want to do and I hope I will do that very soon a friend of mine recently went and planted hundred trees she says that is my effort that's great. So every time on a weekend, I will encourage everybody to go and plant a tree. Great. Means that is one major thing that you can do without going into anything. Going at into yeah. I mean, my daughter does that. Like I said, my son was wanting to do this. My daughter, her thing is every three weeks. Believe it or not, I can't believe she's my daughter. She'll clean out her room. She'll clean out her cupboard and take out things she doesn't use, which I think we don't do very regularly more out of laziness or at least I don't and it's like she'll take them out and she says now I want to give these to someone so it's things like that but maybe to do it in a more planned organized manner for myself is what I'd like to do more of we're in the last few minutes of the program and is there a message that you can give to the viewers here especially in terms of what you can do in Indonesia and what are, the, what are the things to look out for such that it will help them in their careers and, and in their lives here in Indonesia? I think for any expat, but now there are a lot of Indian professionals as you know who are yeah. coming into Indonesia. Mostly, even in the past 13 years, I think most of them have been very successful and that's great because when one is successful, I think that opens the doors for five more to come in. Correct. It's if they come in and the ones who have been successful, I think essentially it is having an open mind, uh, being accepting of other people, other cultures, etc. Viewpoints. If they do that, if they are open and they are accepting, the skills, the brains, the intellect, well most Indians as you know have that. So it's, but that becomes less important than some of these other traits and if they come in with that attitude, they will be very successful. I think they'll contribute a lot but more than anything I think they'll become better people, enriched and they will absolutely love this place then as yeah, some as of us have, that's yeah, right. Yeah. So it's really that and always to have their sense of humor because yeah, some things are different and difficult, the traffic you need your sense of humor for to cope with things like that on a day-to-day -day basis but by and large I think it would be wonderful for anyone who comes in. It was really wonderful having you here on the show Ranjana and we enjoyed sharing bits of your life about your children about your work and your viewpoint on Indonesia. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you really, very much for really having me on the show. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you.
This is India Talks brought to you by IndoIndians.com and QTV, a channel for decision makers. Watch, know and decide. Thank you and see you next time.